He's a man on a mission embarking on a mammoth challenge around the world in just one week, running seven ultra marathons along the way. Running is my way of seeing the world and it's a genuine challenge. It's an absolute minimum of 50 kilometres per day that I'm doing on foot. And I think that the total air miles I'm clocking up is about 41,000. Quite a journey. It is, um, but a spectacular one. This really will be an incredible journey. Starting in Antarctica, Dr Murray then travels on to Patagonia in South America. Day three sees him running through Atlanta in the United States before heading to London on day four. On day five, his marathon will take him past the Egyptian pyramids. Then it's on to Dubai before all going well. On day seven, crossing the finishing line at the Opera House in Sydney. The 32-year-old is no stranger to gruelling adventures. Earlier this year, he won an arduous marathon at the North Pole. Before that, he ran 2,500 miles from Scotland to the Sahara. He initially wanted to run to Nepal at one point, and I put my foot down about that. Um, from Scotland? Yes, from Scotland, all the way to Nepal, and I wasn't too happy about that one. So this one doesn't seem quite so bad in comparison. It'll be really tough, but I'm really looking forward to it. With a challenge this big, there are likely to be some difficulties along the way. There's the running and there's the logistics, getting all those different flights coordinated. I'm sure my muscles will be aching and I just won't get that much sleep. I'll just be jet lagged unbelievably. But he already knows how he'll celebrate if he does succeed. A wee dram of whiskey followed by a long sleep. Lorna Gordon, BBC News, Edinburgh.